Hey there, it's Justin here, and we're back with another installment of our Summit Racing Ford Bronco build. Over the course of a handful of episodes, we're turning the stock Ford Bronco into a tribute to Rod Hall's 1969 Mexican 1000 winning off-roader. Now, this thing is only an homage. We're not going full-blown race truck here, but we're adding some smart off-road upgrades to make sure this thing looks the part. Today, we're gonna to be adding a set of DVA off-road bumpers front and rear, along with some other armor and rock slides from DV8 as well. Not only will this give us some much needed trail protection, these bumpers offer some handy places to mount some off-road lights. And if you're thinking of installing some off-road bumpers on your late model Ford Bronco, here's something that's really important to consider. If your Bronco is equipped with adaptive cruise control, you'll probably need to relocate the module. The good news is, is the aftermarket has you covered and we'll show you that sensor relocation bracket from DV8 Off-Road to help you do it. And to really make our front bumper useful, we're gonna be installing a Warren VR Evo 10 winch. This winch is small but mighty though and gives you 10,000 pound pool rating while snuggling neatly behind our new front bumper. So follow along while we bolt this stuff up and see where this install goes. So we're gonna start off our bumper removal by removing the, these bolt covers. We've already removed the one from that side. We'll remove this one as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove these six bolts from the front of the bumper, but be careful because once you take them out, the bumper is loose from the vehicle. So with a couple bolts removed and we just have two in there holding the bumper in place, we're gonna crawl under the Bronco and disconnect the fog lights. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull out the two bolts we had holding the bumper and remove the bumper. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the rubber from the air dam and these pieces from behind the bumper. If your Bronco is equipped with adaptive cruise control, the module would be right here. And if it does have it, you're gonna need to relocate it for this bumper install. But since ours doesn't have it, we just need to go ahead and remove this plastic cover. So now we're ready to start putting our bumper together. And first, we need to stick these foam gaskets on there. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. With those installed, now we're ready to start putting the bumper together. Before we install our bumper, we need to install our lights and winch, so we're going to go ahead and install our Hello Black Magic lights in our bumper. Now with this side installed, we're gonna go ahead and do the other. So before I install this other light, I just wanna take a second to show off these Hello Black Magic lights because these things are super trick. Not only do they have this giant lens in the front, so you have a lot of light projection, but the way the LED technology works in these is that the LEDs are mounted on the top and bottom and uses the reflector instead of having a reflector around the LED itself. So these things have a really great pattern. And they almost match our Bronco perfectly. So combined with the modern style and the Hella performance that the Hella is known for, these things are just absolutely fantastic. Just like the other side, we're just gonna put this light in here, throw on our washer and lock nut. Just like that, our light is installed. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our fair lead installed and our winch in and then get this thing bolted up. So since our Bronco doesn't have proximity sensors on it, we're gonna go ahead and use these rubber plugs and knock them in place. Started, just knock in with a rubber hammer. So before we go ahead and put our bumper on, we need to remove these crash bars. So we're just gonna take these two 50 millimeter bolts out on each side and slide these out. So 
So we went ahead and got our bumper on and a couple bolts started. And I'll be really honest with you guys, this is no task for one man. Even having two of us moving this thing around and getting it on, with the combination between the weight of the bumper and the winch and the overall awkwardness of it, it was really a hard task. So I recommend at least two people, and if you have a third buddy, that wouldn't be a bad idea either. Now, let's go ahead and get our bolts tight and finish up this install. So I know we pre-installed our lights in our bumper before we put it on, but once we got it on and had to tighten the bumper bolts, it was a little tough to do it with the lights installed, so we went ahead and removed them, and now we're gonna reinstall them again. We backtracked a little, but things happen. So let's get the lights back in. So we pulled our winch cable out a little earlier to get it through the fairly. Now we're just gonna roll it up. So now that we got the front done, we've moved out back here to get our rear bumper installed. So let's go ahead and get our factory one yanked off and get this new DVA bumper on. So we're gonna start off a removal by unplugging these bumper sensors on each side. They're just tucked up under the bumper cap. That's the only plug that's there, really easy. Go ahead and remove these 13 millimeter fasteners on each side next, there's just one. Now go ahead and remove the four 18 millimeter fasteners that hold the bumper on, but be careful when you pull all four out because then the bumper will be free from the vehicle. Just like that, our factory bumper is removed. Now, since our Bronco does have the backup sensors in it, we need to go ahead and remove those from the factory bumper and start off our install by installing them in our new bumper. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull all this stuff off the inside of our bumper so we can retrieve our bumper sensors. And just like that, all our bumper sensors are removed. So now we're gonna go ahead and install our bumper sensors and our new bumper along with our lights. Now, once you removed all the stuff out of your old bumper, you're gonna have all these little plastic holders for the sensors. And because of the thickness of our new bumper, you might need to go ahead and modify these and trim a little bit of the tab so they fit properly. Everyone is different, so you're just gonna to wanna to trim a little bit off the tabs at a time until they fit properly. Now I will note the side ones, because of the bumper's thickness, you're not able to use these plastic holders that they use. So DV8 recommends either using a zip tie around the back once you install the sensor or a small dab of silicone will do the trick as well. So we got our bumper sensors installed, now we're ready to install our lights. And we're using a set of Hello Black Magics, just like the ones we use in the front, except these ones are flush mounting, so they're perfect for backup lights in our bumper. So we've gone ahead and got our lights all bolted in and installed, now we're going to go ahead and bolt on our bumper brackets and get this thing hung on the Bronco. Now with both of these installed, we can go ahead and hang it on the Bronco. Once you get your bumper aligned, go ahead and tighten up the three bolts on each side.
Now with these three tight on this side, go ahead and tighten the other three. Now to get our rear bumper all finished up, we need to go ahead and install the license plate bracket. So we're gonna remove these four bolts and then bolt our bracket here and then install our license plate light and then we'll be all done with this rear bumper install. So to finish out our bumper install, we're gonna go ahead and hang a couple of these Warren Epic shackles on it. And these things really live up to their name. For one, they're made out of forged steel, so they're super strong. They have this great e-coating process that they use to paint these things, so they're not gonna corrode and they're gonna stay really nice. And third is their working load. These things have an 18,000 pound rating, so they're never gonna fall short. Let's go ahead and get these things hung on the bumper. So before we install our DV8 rock slides, we need to go ahead and remove the factory ones. These are pretty easy to take off, so let's get under the Bronco and get these things removed. So we're going to start off by removing all the 10 millimeter nuts that hold it to the body. Then we'll go ahead and pull these 13 millimeter bolts out and drop the rock slide off. Aftermarket rock slides from DV8 use the body mounts to mount, so we won't be using these brackets. You can either leave these on or remove them. We're going to leave ours on to add a little strength to the body. Next, go ahead and remove the couple 13 millimeter bolts that hold this thing on, and then we can remove it. And just like that, we can go ahead and remove our factory rock slide. So with our stock rock slider removed, we're almost ready to install our new ones. But first, we need to go ahead and pull the nuts off each of the side of our body mounts and get those ready for the rock slider to go on. Now on the front, we're gonna go ahead and remove this small plate because we no longer need it, and we're gonna toss this out. Now go ahead and remove the two 15 millimeter nuts from the back body mount as well. So with our 15 millimeter nuts removed from our body mounts, we can go ahead and install our rock slide. So with the help of a friend, they're gonna hand the rock slide to me underneath, and then I'm gonna get a couple nuts started. And just like that, our passenger side installation is done. Go ahead and repeat the same steps on the driver's side and get your rock sliders all finished up. These things were a breeze to install and really change the look of our Bronco. So we've gone ahead and protected the front, back, and sides. Now it's time to add a little underneath protection. And we're gonna do that by protecting our aluminum lower control arms with these DV8 lower control arm skid plates. And these things are really easy to install, so let's get underneath and get them on. So there you have it. The bumpers, rock slides, and A-arm guards really transform the look of our Bronco. And this stuff is gonna perform even better than it looks. So that's it for our bumper segment. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Summit Racing YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more of our Bronco build or any of the other cool stuff we post. I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.